Tim, huge day today for you. Oh, a massive day, we see. Um, we were here in 2009, two years ago, we were beaten. Um, so, you know, we've had a mixed year this year. We're, we're, we're at the bottom of Division 4, so um, we're really hoping for a result today. What has the build-up been like now, Tim? I mean, to be in a county championship final in Kerry, whether whatever grade it is, is a huge thing for the club. Absolutely, Wishy. And I, I, in fairness, I, I have to compliment the county board as well for you know facilitating the game before the, the senior match today. It is great to see to see them giving coverage to two small clubs, you know, because again, um, the small club is, is is as important in many ways as the bigger club in the organisation. So. Um, I, I'd like to thank the county board for that. Your job as chairman in the run-up to the whole thing, what has it entailed? Here I'm mainly organising, we should to be honest with you. The, the manager and selectors have looked after the team. Um, we've just been organising and just trying to keep things. It's been low-key enough now, in fairness. We've been, we've, been, we've been bitten before in 2009, so it's a bit more low-key this time, so hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll do the business today. Well, Tim Deneen is chairman of Scatter Glen, who are bidding to win that novice today up against Brasna. Tim, a huge day for the club. Oh, it is a massive day. We uh, we're waiting this day for uh, I was the last 28 years since we bought the title to Scatter Glen. I was playing myself that day, and uh, it's a massive thing for the club. It's a small rural club like our own. Uh, if we can get across the line here today, it'll be massive. And Tim, like you said there, 28 years ago and you were on the team, you can still look back and you can say you won a county championship with your club. No matter what grade it is in, it's a huge memory, it's a great thing, isn't it? Oh, it is, it is massive, like I mean, it is all Ireland today, like this is all Ireland. I mean, uh, if, you know, as I said, no matter what, what kind of a club, smart club, once we have a, a county now has come to the village in Scatterland tonight, I mean, it, it'll bring on young lads knowing the, and uh, get more involved in, in the community and everything, like, you know. What has the build up been like, Tim? What's it like around Scat now at the moment? Uh, it's very good. Uh, uh, our Lord, I mean, uh, our Lord's officers, everything, they're giving a big, massive hand in the place, uh, putting up buntings, flags, and doing lots of things around the community, you know, to get things, fellas involved and getting the spirit going for this big occasion today. Now I'm talking to two more men from Brasna, Mike Nash and Mike Moriarty. Huge day. How, t how have things been going? What's your involvement in it, Mike? Uh, we see, not far this year, but it was involved for the last two years. Mike must have involved last year. Uh, watching it from the sideline, uh, it looks like. A very good, it's a very, going to be a very even game, which is going well down to, I'd say, quite possibility of a draw. Who knows? Um, very two evenly matched teams. Um, Glad's in good shape. Probably Flor, Flor McAuliffe not being able to start is a big loss to us. But sure, listen, we'll just wait and see. There might be a chance he might play at some stage, which might be very, very critical. What injury has Flor McAuliffe? Because I know that he's one of your better players. Yeah, he was not carried his championship. He was playing against um, Fenuica yeah, and Window in the knee. We thought it was a crucial lig ligament. We wasn't quite sure. He was taken away. Mm -hmm. We were for the scan. We're saying he's only damaged the back of the knee rather than the front of the knee. So th that's the good news. So hopefully, hopefully we hope that it, that there'll be some part that he can play in the game. You know, Mike, if I could turn to you, how long were you playing with your club? I was playing, I suppose, when I was 26 and I got a bad knee injury and that, that, that finished my career. But um, we'll say I trained the team last year and I was a selector a couple of years before that. But uh, they're a good bunch of lads, like, you know, and uh, I suppose what has really helped us in the last couple of years is uh, three young fellas there that have come on stream. Um, <coughs> we'll say Eamon Coyley, uh, Mike Finnegan and Barry. Um, we'll say they have, um, two of them have made the Kerry Miners and, and uh, Barry is in this year with the Kerry Miners. So that has really driven on the team an awful lot, like, and uh, young Conor Coyley as well as being a good sub-keeper to, to Brendan Lane, like, you know. Mike, we hear a lot now about rural clubs finding it very difficult to keep going and they're losing a lot of players and things like that. What's the situation with Gino? How are you doing? That, that wise? Uh, not bad. Uh, we didn't lose many players, but um, I suppose the start of the season uh, was very hard for him because uh, last year's season went on until the end of January and uh, the players found it hard to, I suppose, with injuries and had to motivate themselves like uh, to get going so like the start of the season was very bad only barely fielding teams and don't know fair play to Mikey John the boys like they kept it going and uh, they kept the interest in it and they stayed focused and eventually like uh, they're, they're just rewards today Joe how do you think the game is going to go? Uh, I think if Brosna can convert the, the position they're going to get today in, in, into scores they, they'll do very well you know uh, but they'll, they'll have to be take their scores yeah. you know uh, we get a lot of position around midfield half back but but um, if we don't convert that in, 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 into scores, like you know, we're yeah. going to be in trouble. Yeah. Like Maris, what's your view of it? I think Brosnan have a good old chance today. Yeah. Looking at him in the county league, Brosnan have played very well within uh, Scottie Greenwood without Paddy par Greedy. So he'd probably make a big difference there. But at the moment, Brosnan is in fairly good old form. Lads, could I ask you, how long are you involved in the club yourself now, Tim? Well, I'm involved since my own lads started playing underage, you know. Going back to it is. It is 25 or 6 years ago anyway. Yeah. So they have given us great enjoyment down through the years 
you know, and they have been in many final underage, but today is the, the real serious one if they could uh, win it off. You know? What does Brasna mean to you? Well, does it, it, it means a lot to the, the families and uh, the, the, the team and, and the parish itself. You know, it is part of our culture and part of the scene and, you know, we're committed and I can tell you this much, they won't be found wanting today anyway. <laughs> Good afternoon and you're very welcome to the Fitzgerald Stadium in Killarney and first and foremost on County Senior Football Championship Final Day we have the meeting of Scarteglin and Brosna in the Castle Island Mark Novice Club Championship Final. Let's start by giving you both teams and Scarteglin have one change from the programme and uh, their goalkeeper is number 16 Timothy Kearns. Uh, he will line out in goal. Full back line is Ger O'Connor, Bernard Cronin and Pam Murphy. It's Alan Horan, Paul Greedy and Brendan Rahilly in the half back line. Mike Coakley the team captain at midfield with Tim Coakley. Noel Rahilly, Daniel Murphy and Mike Horan in the half hour line. Pam Rahilly, Ger O'Sullivan and Tom Boyle in the full forward line. Turning to Brosna. And they have Brendan Lane in goal and it's a full back line of Michael O'Connor, Michal Murphy and Eamon Kiley. Aaron Cahill, Kieran Curtin and Kieran Cahill in the half back line. Midfield it's David and Shane Curtin. Half forward line. Seamus McAuliffe wears number 10. The captain Mike Finnegan is in the 40. Thomas Fitzgerald is at wing forward. Adam Barry, Paul, Re Paul Reedy and Tom McGoldrick. The full forward line. Our referee down in the middle of the field this afternoon is Paul O'Sullivan uh, from uh, Drummond Pierces. And he's there with his linesman, a fellow South Kerry man, John O'Sullivan from File Moore. And uh, from Mid Kerry, of course, Brendan Twist from Milltown Castlemaine. Joining me in commentary for this game is Wishy Fogarty. And Wishy, it's a big day for both Scartiglin and Brosnan. Yes, Gary, it's a huge day for them. I was talking a few before the game there, and they all made a point that this is their All Ireland final. Yes, indeed it is. It's going to be taken by Tom McGoldrick, rather, and Tom McGoldrick hits it in high for Brosnan, yes, tips it over the bar. Tom McGoldrick, the Kerry Junior, slots it over. Tom McGoldrick in plenty of space now. McGoldrick just inside the 45. Is it the first point from play? It is. Brilliant, brilliant score by Tom McGoldrick. Daniel Murphy playing it inside now to Pa Rahilly. Pa Rahilly calling for it is Padre Greedy. Not getting it yet. Murphy getting it back. Greedy now coming on the bus. This is Noel Rahilly in actual fact. Noel Rahilly with the left leg. It's the first point from play. For Scott to Glenn, Noel Rahilly, number 10, and we're level here in Fitzgerald Stadium. Now you're very welcome back to the second half here at the Fitzgerald Stadium. Six points to four, delicately poised. Scarteglin leading by two. But Tom McGoldrick is the man that's going to go for it. Tom McGoldrick from near the corner. Flag! Oh, it's gone in! It's gone into the next week. She has dropped in a total mix-up in the goal, and it's a goal for Brosna. A goal for Brosna. That's the goal that might ignite him. What a superb kick it was by by uh, the, the wing forward. A wonderful kick by Tom McGoldrick. Uh, he took it from a very difficult position. It was like a Morris Fitzgerald type of an effort. Two yards outside from the corner flag, in between the 21 and the 14 meter line, kicked the ball across. It was missed inside by backs and forwards. It hopped and finished up inside in the back of the net. That's exactly what Brasna wanted. Again to Tim Coakley. Tim Coakley back to Brendan Rahilly. He's looking for his third point of the afternoon. This is a great run again by him. Transferring it inside. The shot, the kick, and the score from Pa Rahilly. His brother was on the shoulder. That's a score for Pa Rahilly. Oh, that was a great, a great move. A lovely move to hold into the field. Great interpassing, great running, great constructive football. Pa Rahilly was running along, took the pass off the shoulder, and, and with the right leg passed the ball over the bar. Lovely point by, by Scott Glenn. They can put some lovely moves together, and they're beginning to motor that little bit better now. O'Donnell, support comes from. Paul Reedy outside of Tom McGoldrick no one else has scored now we can say that they have because Paul Reedy the full forward has got a great point for Brasna again he's won the high ball that's two high balls that he's won passing it out to Paul Reedy on the left again that's another one on over the bar great score again from Paul Reedy great score by Paul Reedy and once again to the substitute he said Jonathan O'Donnell is having a huge part in this game well done to him now this game has dramatically turned around in their favour don't roll them out that's uh, Thomas Fitzgerald that's a loose man where is the uh, the scat defence gone there could be a goal here is a chance for Adam Barry and that's a point I would think is it Jermack going for the white flag Adam Barry puts it over the bar it's his first score of the afternoon oh, oh great point by Barry well done to him there the little corner forward was at the end of that lovely passing but once again it was wonderful feeling in the middle of the field so this to draw the novice final well it'll be poor heartache if it's missed this with a chance it's a difficult enough one Gary it is and it's a, a good pressure bit out on them. it's a good bit out he's what 47 48 yards out he stole a few inches with the kick Daniel Murphy it's all over and Brosna Wishy have won it by a point 
Congratulations to Braxton and well done for the after winning a cracking no novice county final and deservedly so. Their last 10 minutes display when they brought on their, their, their substitute at, at the end there, he played an absolutely super, superb game. Jonathan O'Donnell and then you had those two points from Paul Reedy. Tom McGoldrick was absolutely outstanding and their defence in particular and uh, well, a great win for Braxton. Gary, it was a cracking game. Goldrick's exhibition of kick, kicking, I suppose getting the goal as well as kicking freeze and kicking points from play today was massive for you. All the, all the team though there today, as we said to him, it's not a one man thing. I think every one of them played their hearts out um, and, and there was fellas there that didn't even get a run today that have played their hearts out in getting here today. This is our 99 session this year. Um, we put the average into that at two and a half hours, you know, by getting there and that's six and a half working hours of working week. It's a huge effort. And I think the lads, fair play to them there today. They, they left every ounce of that out in the field there today. Uh, and I'm so proud of them, I really am. What does this mean, uh, win, I suppose, compared to the rest? Um, this is extra special, I suppose, because it's been a while since we've won anything major. So it was nice to win a county final, I suppose, after we said it was 89 when we won the junior, so a county title is a long time due coming to Brosna. So, Brendan, I suppose winning it, we'll say, but I suppose there's a lot of years where Brosna and the likes of the Nachnagoshals, the Corals, they go out and they put in the same effort, but they come win nothing. So, yeah. I suppose you need a bit of look along the way as you well. Do, you do, you do, definitely. We should have been beaten by Bale in the first game, and uh, Ash D should have beaten us in the second game, probably. So, we didn't perform great today, we were very lucky today, so you need the breaks, I suppose, to win the final, and we got him today. Tom, you had a, you had a huge talent. He's man as far as Brass is concerned. Massive scores, but it wasn't all about you today. It's a team performance. Oh, no, definitely. Team performance. Every day you go out, you'll have, look, you'll have a few individuals. Look, they might just score uh, two or three points extra than everyone else. But look, at the end of the day, a final is final, and you go out, you try your best in the final, and it just all went our way today. Tom, when you took the, I suppose, the, you went in at half time, I suppose, with two points down, a lot of work to be done in the second half, but you couldn't have dreamed of what a start you had in that second half. Oh, yeah, exactly. Jeez, we, we came into the dressing room, our heads were down. For, and we, we said to each other, look, we can do a lot better than this. We have a young team, we have a fit team, and why can't we just put it down on paper? And which we done there, 15 minutes into the second half, our fitness, our intelligence on the ball, we knew exactly what to do. And you win a lot of ball around the middle of the park as well, and that was getting the hands dirty, and that's how you win games like this. Oh, you have to go in for 50-50 balls. If you don't go in for 50-50 balls, you're already wasting your time. You have to go in into the thick of things, get the hands dirty, and hopefully come out on top.